tried to turn it off. He snatched the phone. Politely. He didn't take it. He just, snatched the phone. And, and she pulled back and it shot across the room. It flew underneath the, the seat of this other couple that was there. And Who were already annoyed because he was causing a scene. Everyone was looking at us like it was really embarrassing. What made you think you gonna grab a grown woman's phone and take it? Your Honor, I'm here today because Jonathan cracked my phone screen because he was throwing a tantrum when I had my phone out at the ballet. I was bored out of my mind and decided to text a few of my friends and he got angry and grabbed it from me. I was not angry. He got angry because I wasn't enjoying it as much as him and it when he grabbed it, it flew under the seat in front of us and cracked. Mr. McHenry, I do want to hear from you as well. You had good intentions when you bought the ballet tickets. You thought it'd be something Miss Darcy would enjoy. Yes. You enjoy the ballet? Oh, quite, quite a lot. Was your this Honor. your? Oh, okay. So this wasn't your first ballet. No, no. I, I, I go and I, I see. He goes with his mom. The ballet every. Well, I had to go with my mom because she wouldn't go with me. All right. So for the six-month anniversary <laughs> limo ballet tickets, it sounds like yes. a nice date to me. Good seats? Yes, we had the best seats in the house. That's I, the only seats to have. The young lady was doing a very beautiful pirouette, and then out of nowhere is this cell phone, like, blurring all of this light everywhere. And I just, I wanted us to enjoy the evening and have a really good time, and I thought we were. She admitted in court she was texting because she was bored. Yes. So then what did you say? Well, I said, Minden, put down your phone. Like, you know, there's this, didn't you see the sign? He didn't say it in the calm way that he's saying it now. Like, it was aggression, and it was like... How aggressive you're in the middle of the ballet he didn't scream did he, he? okay it was a condescending tone your honor and it's like he has this issue when things don't go his way he wants to talk to me like like he's a parent and not a boyfriend and i don't appreciate that I'm and it's not my father i'm not and a i parent. feel like if we're in a setting where everyone is focused on the stage and i am bored instead of falling asleep which i could have done and i thought i was going to do i decided to just get in our group chat well i just you know she didn't turn her phone off so. how many times did you ask her I believe it was three times. I, I, I just took the phone and he I tried to turn it and off. He snatched the phone. Politely. He didn't take it. He just snatched the phone. And, and she pulled back and it shot across the room. It flew underneath the, the seat of this other couple that was there. And Who were already annoyed because he was causing a scene. Everyone was looking at us like it was really embarrassing. What made you think you going to grab a grown woman's phone and take it? But I could see how that that could be distracting, right? Mm -hmm. But what I don't agree with are your methods. We got escorted out of the Oh, because after the phone flew and all that yes. happened, y'all got escorted he out of the of the ballet. Yes. yes. Unfortunately for you, Mr. McHenry, you do owe Miss Darcy for the damage you caused to her phone screen. That was your doing. Do you I, understand that? Yes. And because you chose the person you'd like to accompany to the ballet with you. You gifted her a ticket, and that is really all you're doing. You could have seen the entire ballet, and she would have just been on the phone, and you might have broken up with her after, but you would have seen the ballet you paid for. So unfortunately, your actions caused you to miss the ballet, and not her. Now, you could have also been cold-blooded like her, and just said, excuse me, I'm gonna go to the restroom, and gone to get the security, and you could have had them escort her out, and you could have stayed and enjoyed the ballet. Then you wouldn't be missing anything. A lot of other options. Unfortunately, you chose the wrong one. Judgment for the plaintiff for $224. The defendant's counterclaim is dismissed. Court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $224. I don't quite understand. Hey guys, a spicy one today about a couple going to a ballet. So obviously, you gotta know what your significant other likes. And if she doesn't like the ballet, then don't take her to the ballet. Her being on the phone was rude, yes. But him grabbing and yanking her phone, anything physical, anything involving touch or destruction of property is crossing the line. He's too old to be acting like that. You can literally just say to her, I'm breaking up with you. We're not the right fit. But instead, you wanted to cause a commotion and act out. You are a grown man. We have to control our emotions here. And the girl, don't get me started on the girl, but she did nothing wrong. Violence is not the key for anything. What do you guys think about this? Who's right? Who's wrong?
I think they're both wrong. Let me know in the comments. I think they're both like not good people. Like I wouldn't want to hang out with both of them. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. See you later.